permanently. Through like induced comas, I'm assuming. Oh, look at that. Skull, bunch of people, I guess. There's gears. That looks like, I don't know, some kind of laser or something. I wonder if we're gonna end up grinding up all these bodies. Oh shit! Look! It is. It is indeed. Look! 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 There's a giant container full of people. The container opens, pouring all the people down into the meat grinder. The meat grinder ends up grinding them into, like, I don't know, I'm guessing blood or liquid. And then that goes into the machine right there. And then apparently it gets fed into a bunch of tubes and pipes. That is fucked up. How the fuck do you think up of something like this? Literally. An entire facility dedicated to grinding up people. What the fuck is this? This is some seriously sick shit going on. Damn. This is the meat grinder that we're right beside now. I look at the way you have to get to it, dude. It's like through a series of catwalks that are like falling apart. The catwalks have completely fallen apart. Like, who the hell makes something like this? Where you have to jump like pieces of catwalk are missing. There's the hatch, too. That's where all the bodies fall, I bet. This is some seriously fucked up way to actually get to the, you know, controls of this thing. I mean, who actually makes this? Oh shit, look at that. There's the grinder. I wonder if this is the lever. I wonder if this will open the hatch and cause all the people to fall into the grinder. Well, let's see what happens. Oh shit, look at it. My god, look at that thing. Who the fuck thinks up something so disgusting and nasty like that? A flesh, a meat grinder for people. Looks like the hatch isn't opening though. Jump! That noise from the meat grinder. Like seriously, what sick twisted mind actually thinks up a m machine like this? And the question is, did these people actually, out of their own free will, end up being sacrificed to this gigantic grinder? Or was it against their will? Did they, did they like, kidnap a bunch of people and then throw them into this, like, container to be ground up? and sacrifice for their so-called flesh god or whatever it is. Oh fuck. We can use this le lever. I wonder if it opens the hatch. Here we go. Get ready for a rain of corpses. This is gonna be interesting. Oh shit. Look at that! Holy shit. Yeah, you totally wouldn't be traumatized after seeing something like that. 
wow, did you see all those corpses? Wonder if those people, those people were dead for sure. But fuck if, if they actually do something like that where the corpses are all alive. I mean, like, they're all actually people. Like, real legit people. And they're thrown in there while they're still alive. Man, that is not. Ooh, what is that? Nice! It's another statue. It's the third one we found. My god, this place. This is seriously sick and twisted shit. It's like the whole fucking town. All in that one container. Oh shit, where does this go? Is this an elevator? It is too. Where are we going? Are we going down or up? Oh, we're going up. Oh shit, we're back here. That was an invi- That was a hidden wall? I would have never known that. There was actually a hidden wall here. The whole fucking time. A secret passage. Oh, look at that. I was right. Look. I was fucking right all along. This entire thing got filled. Look at that. All those people. I said at the beginning of this level that I bet these would be filled with blood. And I was right the whole time. Look at that. The entire fucking thing. Pools of blood. All those people we, we ground up. This is all of them. All those people have now filled up this entire area. It's filling up all these moats with rivers of blood. Oh shit. Not gonna lie, this is actually pretty cool. And, like, fucked up at the same time. Oh shit, look at this place. It's like a pyramid right in the middle. Look at that. More blood was going to fill these, too. Apparently, person, fire. Is that the moon? Lightning? I don't know what the fuck that is. Apparently, naked woman. Oh, shit! That is a naked woman being... Uh, raped by a nasty fucking monster. Yep, that is definitely a naked woman being raped by a disgusting, horrendous monster. And then poof. And apparently that woman gave birth to some sort of abomination. All of a sudden, everybody's worshipping that abomination. Apparently that's the abomination. And it's like killing people now. I'm guessing that it turns into that. It like grows up. And then it starts like murdering people or something. Then all of a sudden they're like worshipping it. The fuck is this shit? 
and then it grabs the planet, and then apparently it destroys the planet. Or something. Well, that is fucked up. That's a really fucked up mural. There's a door here, too. Can't get through it, though. See what's on the other side of this place. Yeah, I know. It's some fucked up shit. Or maybe she doesn't get raped by the monster. Maybe she gives herself willingly to it. I don't know. Either way, it's fucked up. Let's go up this pyramid and see what's here. Oh shit, another page. Let's read it. A crowd is pouncing on her. They cut and tear off the skin of her arms and legs, letting her bones out while she is still alive. Her eyes are turning inside her own skull. Her mouth is twisted into a smile that shows no pain, but a pure state of ecstasy. Some of them start to bite her, trying to rip off her skin with their teeth. After several attempts, they finally make it. After gathering together a large part of the flesh of the girl's body, convulsions start once more. They don't stop. She finally stops moving. That moment, they start twisting her joints, to rip her bones out as if she were a chicken. They finally pull out her organs, piece by piece, they place them on the grill. This is some seriously fucked up shit. That is nasty. What the fuck? That is really nasty. What's this do? Oh shit. It opens up those doors. That opens up that, too. Huh. Let's go see what's through these doors. Oh, look at this. There's more of these little moat things here. I can almost guarantee they'll be ending up full of blood. Just like the rest of the temple. Look at that. You can already see it. You can see that it's already, like, in the walls. There's blood. What the fuck is this temple? This is some seriously fucked up temple. It's like Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom shit going on here. Kalima. Kalima, Shatide. What the fuck? What does this do? Well, that's interesting. I hear noises. What's going on? Oh shit, these are raising. I'm assuming I have to get that statue over there. So I have to move this somehow? That's interesting. Hmm. So apparently I have to get the blood set so that it... raises the statue or something. This was this too. I see how it works. So basically, the thicker the blood, the higher up the platform goes. The thinner the blood, the lower the platform goes. 
This is going to be interesting. This looks, this looks like it should work. Ah, I think I got it. Look, I think I got it. Uh-oh. This is not precarious at all. Can I get this statue? Nice. Whew, made it. Man, that was, that was... Pretty tense jumping on those. So what the hell do I do with this statue? Maybe I bring it back here. What's this? Oh shit, do I put these statues in here? Looks like I do. Let's go here. Nope. I'm assuming this statue goes here because I got it from that side. Yep. Uh oh. Well, there's no going back over there. Well, let's do. Let's check out this area then. I'm assuming it's the same. There's probably going to be another statue. All that blood. All going into this machine. Yeah, it looks like we have to get there. Let's see. Did I get it already? No. Wait, this looks right. Is this right? Ah, oh, that middle... The lowest one is a little bit way too low. Wait a sec. What about this? This looks right. Let's see if I can get it. I think I got it. Nice. Made it. So much puzzles. This entire game has been like 90% puzzles. So vastly different compared to the previous two games. I'm not gonna lie in saying that my head hurts from all these damn puzzles. Let's see what happens. Oh shit. Look over there. Way off in the distance, there's a chalice with blood in the indentations, marks. So what happens now? Oh shit! I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. What in the actual fuck? This entire temple is filling up with blood. I guess we go over here then. This was our main goal. Ew, I don't want to get... I don't want to... I don't want to go under it. It's gross. Oh, never mind. Well, looks like we're swimming through here. 
I can't see shit. It's so blurry. Looks like I'm swimming through a fucking artery. Like a human artery. I can't see shit. Woo. That was close. I think I almost drowned there. Oh shit. What the fuck is this? I don't like the looks of this place. It's that flesh thing. Look at this place. What the fuck is this? This is nasty. It's like hot burning embers down there. Coals. Hot burning coals. It's like a barbecue thing. I don't know what this is. Let's read this note. The holy act of purification. Our sins are forgiven when we eat from the meat. We've all been created in God's resemblance, who's come down to suffer and die for us. The same God taught us that meat and blood are the symbol of forgiveness. The saint of the flesh taught us that all those who eat the most impure ones shall be blessed because they experience the miracle of eternal forgiveness. He offers us the chance to have a guide and a motive. Be forgiven and purified. Turn the pain into pleasure. Writings of the Patriarch Juan Torres, first representative of the saint of the flesh in the earth. Wow. So basically they eat the flesh of people impure in order to gain like eternal like forgiveness. This is fucked up shit. This is like super cultish shit. Uh oh. Oh, this isn't good. What is going on? Oh, this is not good at all. What the fuck is happening? Oh, hi there. You are one ugly motherfucker. Holy shit. Uh-oh. I have a feeling I need to hide behind these pillars. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Hide! What do I do? Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Can I interact with this? Yes, I can. Run! That's one ugly ass motherfucker. I don't know what those are. Quickly! Jesus. I'm assuming these are hearts? I have no idea. Look at that thing, it has teeth. It has like mouths in its in its like stomach and like side. I need to go up there now. Run. Quickly. Woo. Stab it. I'm stuck. Break it off. Shit. Jump. Let's see what happens. Did I get him? I'll break this off just in case. Did I get him? Is he dead? Can I kill him? What is this? Shit. Use it. I have no clue what I'm doing right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whoa! That is like one of those meat grinder things. I mean, uh-oh. What the fuck? I'm gonna die. Woo! That is like one of those meat tenderizer hammers. Uh-oh. Run! 
There's more hearts. Break this off quick. Uh oh. I wonder if I can actually make it over there. Run! Run! Woo! I made it! This is some fucked up shit. Did I get him? I don't know what this is doing. I'm assuming he's gonna fall. Oh shit. Damn, he's ugly. Look at that. Holy fuck. This is like some God of War shit going on. GG. Juan Torres, I presume. lit his throat. I guess slicing open his belly wasn't enough. Had to like slit open his fucking throat too. <laughs> Lol, it's almost as if he's drunk. No shit, there's the whole family. There's their kid, there's Juan at the center and his wife on the right. Well, now we know what that area was used for. He is for. in a deep coma, but he'd be able to hear us. In fact, he should be feeling everything. Maybe even more than us. He must be going mad inside his mind. Oh his shit. Are stabilizing. Is he coming round? Impossible. Oh shit. I have a feeling we need to run. Holy fuck, that entire mountain is coming down. Run! Whoa, hello. Jump! Platforming. His heart rate is rocketing. Can't oh, shit. Rest. Fascinating. Keep jumping. This whole place is coming apart. Oh shit, it's these platforms. I don't like those don't buttons. We no longer need him. That's an order. Let him die. Why such a drama? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I hate these platforms. Quickly. Almost there. Yes. I made it. I did it. You've been quite important for doorways, Mr. Foster. But now, this is coming to an end. That peace you have so longed for has finally arrived. I would die to know what's going on in your mind right now. The irony itself.
Well. That was, uh, something. Another one of those types of endings. I'm guessing that he's gonna, like, stab the guy in the throat and, like, run away or something. Damn, this music. Time to rock out. This is in Spanish. So yeah, that was the final game in the Doorway series. I have to admit, though, this is probably my least favorite in the Doorway series. Just because it was, like, extremely heavy on the puzzles. And, like, scripted deaths and enemy stuff. Just didn't give you, like, you know, the, uh cool encounters like you found in uh, the second game in the series. I think that one's my favorite. Without a doubt. Well, at least this music fits the game. Ugh. Cutie pie. Ugh. YouTuber special thanks to Cutie Pie. This is definitely my least favorite of the Doorways uh, games. Just way too many puzzles. I'm not gonna lie, my, my brain actually hurts from the puzzles in this game. Kind of have a slight headache from all those puzzles. But yeah. That is it for the Doorways series. We've now seen all three games. I've played through all three of them. So, I hope you enjoyed my playthrough of Doorways Holy Mountains of Flesh. It was definitely still, it was still fun. 
Wasn't as fun as the other ones, like not by a, by a mile, but it was still all right. I had some fun with it. But yeah, that is it for doorways. That is it for my playthrough of this game and thanks for watching.